Hello, welcome to my tech farm. My name is Igor and currently I'm on my workplace because I have here the Adventure 5M Pro printer. I donated this to my department. Uh, Flashforge gave me some big homework because they sent me some filaments for the testing. I have here three PTG filaments and three well, ASN and ABS filaments. In this video I'm testing only the PTG filaments, but in one of separate video I will test their ABS and ESA. And I will do those regular mechanical testing which I'm doing on this channel and the results will be comparable with those which I did in the earlier videos so, or I will do in the future videos. Let's take a closer look. This is PTG in yellow color, PTG Pro in red and this is the carbon fiber version in black color. And information on the box, we have the print temperature between 220 and 240 degrees Celsius in all three cases and the same temperature in all three cases for the bed which is 80 degrees Celsius. PLA and PLA Pro will be printed with 0.4 mm brass nozzle and the carbon fiber version will be printed with this one, this is the spare nozzle, 0.6 mm hardened steel nozzle. And with this printer I will not be lazy to change it because here it is very simple. Just one click and it can be changed in half minutes. I am starting with regular PTG filament. As you can see it is in nice yellow color. There is a desiccant inside the spool. And I'm changing the filament which is quite specific on this printer. I have to cut the old one and then the new filament will push the previous one through the nozzle. So we cannot just pull out the old filament. Filament is changed and this is the preview in the slicer and uh, the settings 240 on the nozzle, 85 degrees Celsius will be on the bed, the max flow rate is 30 cubic millimeters per second and the printing time will be approximately one hour. I'm selecting the G-code, enable the leveling before the printing and I'm opening the top cover because I want some airflow. And this is the first layer, looks okay. This is quite fast printer, but because of that flow rate limitation and minimal layer printing time, it looks slow. And this is the bridging on the last two test objects for the layer adhesion test. And adhesion is uh, quite good until it's hot and it cools down, it is very easy to remove the objects. And the filament goes to the receivable bag. And I'm moving to PTG Pro. It is in nice red color. Changing the filament with the same procedure, pushing out the previous yellow one. Using the same G code, enable the leveling. And this is now already the second layer when it speeds up. And here the bed already cooled down, so it is very easy to remove the test objects. And now replacing the nozzle, 0.6 mm hardened steel nozzle for the carbon fiber PTG, which is in black color. And it is not so brittle like carbon fiber, PLA or ABS filaments. Even when I'm replacing the nozzle I have to cut the old filament and the old nozzle will be pulled out together with that uh, filament inside. Inserting the new nozzle and the hot end. Just one click and the nozzle is changed. Inserting the new filament, extruding some material and it's ready for printing. filament is changed and I cannot use the same G code but first I have to switch to the 0.6 mm nozzle in the slicer. Now in this case the printing speed looks slow but don't forget that we have the same flow rate but with 0.6 mm nozzle. Everything is printed, it sticks good until it's hot and when it cools down it's removable. And look at this beauty. Everything is printed, ready for mechanical testing. I'm starting with tensile or pulling test. This is the PTG. Average brake load 46.2 kilograms. PTG Pro. Stronger 65.9 kilograms. And the carbon fiber version. Somewhere between. Interesting brakes, different for each material but same for one type. Only the carbon fiber version broke on the smallest cross section area. And now let's see the layer adhesion test with the vertically printed objects. This is PETG. Mm, acceptable. This is PETG Pro. Similar. Carbon fiber version. And surprisingly good. And this is how they look like, they didn't broke on the smallest cross-section area for some reason. 
and now the two-sided shear stress. Diameter is 5 mm, side by side all three materials, and very similar strength in this case. They broke correctly, shared on two cross-section areas. And now the torque or twist test, where I want to record the load at 90 degree angle and the maximal torque. Here you can see the numbers for 90 degree rotation. And this is the maximal torque. And this is how they look like after this test. Twisted almost one rotation, all three. And now three point bending test. Here you can see when all loads are placed, but I place them one by one and I measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And this is speed up time lapse video when I'm placing different loads. I will show you the numbers in the results part. This is now last with the 10 kilograms. And after this test, they almost don't have any kind of the deformation. The impact test with these notch test objects and half kilogram hammer. PTG. PTG Pro. Carbon fiber version. Zero position. After this test, they look very similar, but uh, let's analyze the numbers. This is the scale, and this is the zero position of the hammer, and this is after breaking the PETG filament, PETG Pro, and the carbon fiber version. And if I measure everything from the zero position, I will get the age value, but I have to use it in the meters, and with this equation, I can calculate the breaking energy. But even now it is quite obvious that uh, between these three, the carbon fiber version is the toughest material. And now the temperature test in the oven. This is the sensor. And these three on the left side are these PTGs from this video. The other three are also flash forged materials. Now the first deformation I noticed at approximately 64 degrees Celsius. And the most temperature resistant is the carbon fiber version. Even after half minutes, I can even touch them with my fingers. And for the feeling, they are equally soft now. Just some more quick test. Another creep test, the deformation under the constant load. And actually, I will do this test parallel with the ABS parts. Placing the load of 1.25 kilograms. Position log for more accurate measuring. 1762 1677 1467 smallest deformation this is the fifth day let's measure them <laughs> 20 00 1866 1546 so the smallest deformation and creeping is on carbon fiber version and the biggest on the PTG Let's remove the loads. And side by side. And now let's analyze the results in this Excel table. Let's start with the creep test. So these are the directly measured values distance between two reference surfaces. But what we need is the difference between two days. And this is what we can see on this graph. And from here we can see that the PTG Pro is slightly better compared to the regular PTG. But the carbon fiber version was far the best. On the 10 side test, uh, interesting, the PTG Pro was the strongest. Uh, carbon fiber version was a little bit weaker. I'm not sure if the 0.6 mm nozzle or 0.3 mm layer height has the effect of this, because maybe 4 mm is not dividable by these numbers. On the layer attention test, surprisingly, very strong is the carbon fiber version. The other two are acceptable. On a shear stress, I wouldn't say that there is some significant difference between these two. More or less, they are quite equal. And this is three point bending test. And here you can see the deformations under these loads after 30 seconds. And what is more interesting is actually this graph where we can see the deformation under these loads after 1, 30, and 60 seconds. Smaller values are better. So here the carbon fiber version was the best uh, than the PETG Pro. And the weakest in this test is the regular PTG. 
on a torque or twist test. Interesting, here we can see some bigger difference between these uh, materials. Actually, the PTG was uh, the weakest here. Uh, PTG Pro and carbon fiber version very similar. On the IZAD impact test, well, the toughest material is the carbon fiber version, the most brittle the regular PTG, but actually all three are quite brittle material compared to the regular any PLA for example, and I'm preparing some video to explain this. On the temperature test, uh, PTG and PTG Pro are very similar, and uh, as typical carbon fiber version always helps in this kind of test, and it started with deformation at approximately 75 degrees Celsius. And also quick conclusions for the end. Well, between the PTG and PTG Pro, the Pro version was stronger in most cases. The difference is not always significant, but yes, it is better material. Now, we like this carbon fiber version. In most cases, it was uh, stronger, and uh, usually I worry about the layer adhesion with these fiber reinforced materials, but here that was not a problem. It was much stronger compared to these two. And I really like that those fibers, well, depend on the orientation, but in most cases they may help against the bending or creeping and uh, similar. Not sure it's because of the 0.6 mm nozzle and bigger layer height, theoretically it shouldn't affect the layer adhesion, but yes, I like this material. And also the Flash Forward Adventure 5 and Pro perform quite good. I really like that quick uh, nozzle change method, because it can be changed in half minutes. Well, this was my experience. Give me a few days and then soon I will publish the Flash Forge ABS ASA filament test. Until then, thank you for watching and happy printing!